Hey kids, today we're going to learn about fire safety. We're going to look at fire are your friends, getting down low, go, 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 stop, drop, cover and roll, and of course the number you need to ring in an emergency, 000. I'm firefighter Jen and I'm here to tell you what we wear to keep us safe when we go to work and to tell you not to be scared of us because we're here to help you and we're your friends. Okay here we have firefighter Jen getting on her over trousers. This will keep the bottom half of her nice and safe. All right, now Firefighter Jen's gonna put on her boots. First, she has to put her flash hood on and this protects her head and her face. Here, Jen's put on her jacket and this will keep the top half of her body safe. All right, here we've got Jen putting on her air cylinder. This allows her to breathe in clean air when she's in a fire. All right, now Jen's putting on her mask. And there's that fresh air that I was talking about before. The flash hood comes over just to keep her head and face safe. All right, Jen's now going to put on her helmet. And the very last thing we need to do now is put on some gloves. As you can see, every part of her is protected from head to her toe. Just remember, when you see Jen and you're in a fire, Jen is your friend. She is here to help you and she's here to make sure you are safe and get out to your family. Alright kids, now we're going to practice something very important. If you happen to get caught in a fire and Firefighter Jen is here to help, you need to learn one specific thing. We need to get down low underneath the smoke and go, go, go outside of the house from where it's safe. Here we've got Jen demonstrating exactly how low you need to be to the ground to get out safely. All right, guys, you've seen Jen do it, now it's your turn. Everyone stand up, find a space, get down low, 
and go, go, go. All right, kids, it's really important to get together with your family at some stage and get an escape plan together. What you gotta do is have a picture of your house, where all your rooms are, and discuss an easy way to get out of your house in case there's a fire and meet up at a safe meeting point outside. All right, great job guys. Up next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna learn what we need to do if we catch on fire. If you happen to catch on fire, you have to stop what you're doing, drop to the ground, cover your face with your hands, and roll around to put the fire out. All right, kids, now it's your turn. Stand up, find a space, stop what you're doing, Drop to the ground, hands cover your face, and roll around. Okay kids, now we're going to talk about what number to call in case of an emergency. Do you know what number that is? Zero, zero, zero! I can't hear you. Do you know what number that is? Zero, zero, zero! That's right. It's zero, zero, zero. So when you call that number and you get through to the operator, make sure you tell them fire. And if you know your address, that's really helpful. So now it's time for you guys to practice, practice, practice. Remember, zero, zero, zero. Thanks kids, thanks for spending the afternoon with us. We discussed fireys are your friends, getting down low, out of the fire to a safe meeting point. We talked about escape plans, stop, drop, cover and roll. And we looked at triple zero. What number you need to ring in an emergency? Zero, zero, zero. All right guys. Oh. Alright kids, we'll catch you all soon, stay safe.